हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर रिगार्डिंग पेपर नंबर सिक्स दैट इज प्लांट एनाटॉमी इन दिस पेपर वी सी द फोर यूनिट आउट ऑफ दैट फोर यूनिट टुडे वी डिस्कस टुडे वी स्टार्ट अबाउट आवर फर्स्ट यूनिट दैट इज द मेरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यू इन दिस मेरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यू वी सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द मेरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यू क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द मेरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यू बेस्ड ऑन द ओरिजिन फंक्शन एंड पोजिशन along with that the development and organization of root apical meristem or it is also called as ram and shoot apical meristem it is also called as sham along with that we also see the apical cell theory histrogen theory and tunica carpus theory before we start the unit number 1 that is the meristematic tissue we should know what is mean by tissue tissue it can be defined as a group of cells having similar origin same function and may be similar structure called as tissue kashala mante tissue tar group ahe cell cha ki jaz similar origin ahe ekas thikana originate zalela hai function pan sarkha asel ani structure bhi सिमिलर असेल सच ग्रुप ऑफ सेल इट इज कॉल्ड ऐज टिश्यू दिस प्लान टिश्यू इट कैन बी डिफरशिएटेड इन टू टू टाइप्स दैट इज मेरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यू एंड परमनंट टिश्यू वी सी बोथ दिज मेरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यू एज वेल एज द परमनंट टिश्यू बट वन बाय वन इन दिस यूनिट वी कैन ओनली सी अबाउट द मेरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यू मेरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यू मीन्स इट कैन बी डिफाइन ऐज the cells which are immature having the capacity of division is called as meristematic tissue kasala mantu ek meristematic tissue tar a cells which are immature cells immature at and having the capacity of division capacity of division such type of the cells it is cells group it is called as meristematic tissue the meristematic tissue it is also called as meristem this meristematic tissue the another name that is the meristem the some feature of this meristematic tissue we can see in that the first feature the cells are living and metabot metabolically very active सेल्स लिविंग लिविंग असतील आणि मेटाबॉलिकली ॲक्टिव्ह असतील अलॉंग विथ दॅट द सेल्स आर स्मॉल अँड अनडिफरन्शिएटेड इट मीन्स दॅट देर इज अ नो सेल डिफरन्शिएशन इज सीन इन मेरिस्टमॅटिक टिश्यू स्मॉल अँड अनडिफरन्शिएटेड अलॉंग विथ दॅट इट मे बी राऊंडेड ओव्हल पॉलिगोनल ऑर रेक्टँगुलर इन शेप शेप मे बी there is from plant to plant in some plant it is present in rounded in some in oval some polygonal some rectangular it means that say, uh, shape of the cells it is varies from cell to cell arrangement these cells are arranged compactly without intercellular spaces intercellular spaces is totally absent and arrangement is compact arrangement compact arrangement is seen in this meristematic tissue and last and important characteristic feature that is the cells have ability to divide again and again to form new cells it is an important feature or important characteristic of the meristematic tissue the cells have ability to divide again and again to form the new cells these are some feature of this meristematic tissue okay are you getting this here we see the diagram of this meristematic tissue there is a dense prominent nucleus is present along with that dense cytoplasm is present and arrangement of this tissue it is the compactly here you can see this arrangement is compact arrangement <coughs> this meristematic tissue again classified on the basis of the classification of the meristematic tissue it is based on the three criteria main three criteria 
classification of meristematic tissue it is based on main three criteria that is position origin and function here you can see that the meristematic tissue it is mainly classified into three category on the basis of position kutha present asthil meristematic tissue cha origin kay asel ani tacha function kay asel on these main three criteria this meristematic tissue it can be defined and along with that the first criteria that is position and this position of the meristematic tissue it is again differentiated into three category that is apical meristem intercalary meristem and third one lateral meristem this is the classification of the on the basis of position second that is the origin this origin it can be again classify into three criteria pro meristem primary meristem and secondary meristem and the last one on the basis of function the meristematic tissue it is again classify into three category that is protoderm procambium and ground meristem we see all these classification it is one by one out of that the first classification that is classification of the classification of meristematic tissue on the basis of position where it is present on the basis of position this meristem it is classified into three sub type that is apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristem it is seen one by one that is first apical meristem apical meristem it is present at the tip or apex of root or stem it is present tip la present asel it is present at the tip of root and stem स्टेम च तरी स्टेप प्रेजेंट आल कि रूट च तरी टीप प्रेजेंट आल जे कहीं मेरी स्टेम अल सच टाइप ऑफ द मेरी स्टेम इट इज कॉल्ड एज अपायकल मेरी स्टेम दिस एक्टिविटी दिस एक्टिविटी रिजल्ट इन इन्क्रीजिंग लेंथ ऑफ प्लैंड बॉडी इट मीन्स दैट द इट इज प्रेजेंट एट द टीप एलॉंग विथ दैट it increases the activity of this meristem it increases the length of the plant body it may be root or it may be shoot that is the primary growth occur with the help of apical meristem primary growth is occur with the help of apical meristem and it is present at the tip therefore it forms the growing point this apical meristem it is present at the tip hence it forms the growing point this is the first that is the apical meristem second meristem that is the intercalary meristem its name itself indicate it is present between apical meristem and lateral meristem but exact position it is it is present in the internodal region at the base of nodes it means that this is the stem and this is first node and this is second node and the the distance between two nodes it is called as internode and in this internodal region this intercalary meristem it is present and the activity of this intercalary meristem that is it increases the length of the internode and it is originated from apical meristem origina originated origin asel as a apical meristem pasna and it is short lived but this type of the meristem that is intercalary meristem it is not present in all the plant but it is present in some plant and third that is the lateral meristem its name itself indicate that it is present on lateral side of the root as well as the stem it is also called as cambium cambium means 
a group of tissue which have the capacity to divide continuously but it is present in vascular bundle such type of the tissue it is called as cambium it means that the lateral meristem it is also called as cambium and its activity the lateral meristem activity result in increasing the thickness of the stem thickness of the stem and root it means that the girth of the plant body girth of the plant body it is increased due to the activity of this cambium or it is also called as the secondary growth it is also responsible for the secondary growth of that plant body and this lateral meristem or the cambium it is again two types that is vascular cambium it means that it is present only in vascular bundle and second cork cambium it means that it is present in cortical region cortical region or cortex it is present in cortical region or cortex of the plant body here in a diagram we see the three types of the meristem that is apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristem this this is the apex of root or stem in a tip of the stem there is a apical meristem is present in the nodal region in between the root nodal region intercalary meristem is present and lateral side of this stem the lateral meristem is present in this way we can see our first classification that is the classification of meristematic tissue on the basis of position and position this meristematic tissue into classify into three category apical meristem present at the tip intercalary meristem present in between internodal region and last that is the lateral meristem it is present in between the lateral side of the stem in this way we can see our first classification criteria that is on the basis of the position and next next criteria it is seen in our next lecture thank you